Okay, so this guy's asking how come there are two different node softwares and isn't the block size constant? Why are the block sizes different? It's a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna hit you with the airport metaphor so that you can better understand it because I know you've been to an airport. The consensus rules or the block size is kind of like the TSA. Same security for everybody, and if you don't pass through the TSA, then you can't get on the plane. In Bitcoin, that's like the SegWit block weight limit. And if you go over that weight limit, then you can't broadcast your transaction on the network. Bitcoin, the network will not pick it up. And those rules that can't be broken, those are called consensus rules. But there's also something called policy rules. And that's kind of more like when you go through TSA and now you're at your specific airline's gate. Maybe you're at United or American Airlines. Once you get to the gate, that little thing for carry-on bags, that could be different sizes for different airlines. So like United's bag size might be bigger than Spirits or Americans or Delta maybe has different size than United. They're all kind of in the same ballpark, but they're not exactly the same. And that's more like a policy rule in Bitcoin. And in Bitcoin, these policy rules are enforced at the node level, which like I could run a node in my house, you could run a node in your house, and the nodes are deciding what kind of blocks and how long to keep certain kinds of blocks in the mempool at any one given period of time. So just because I'm able to broadcast a transaction on the Bitcoin network doesn't mean that every node has to pick up my transaction and put that transaction to a mempool. The same way that just because I got through security of TSA doesn't mean that Spirit Airlines isn't gonna tell me that my bag is too big to fly. So basically what happened in Bitcoin Core 30 is Bitcoin Core 30 said, hey, we're gonna allow bigger bags on our airplane. It's not breaking the TSA bag size limit, but it is increasing the size of bags that can fly on a Bitcoin Core airplane or node. And it did that, nerd alert, by increasing this variable called data carrier size from the default, which I think used to be 83, to now 100,000, which is obviously way bigger but it still falls within the limits of the regular block size that has existed since the SegWit update. And if you're running your own implementation of Bitcoin Core 30, you can still take that variable and hard code it back down to 83 or whatever it was at before. In our metaphor here that I'm sure no one is going to intentionally misinterpret in the comments, Bitcoin Knots is Spirit Airlines and they don't want you to bring big bags onto the Bitcoin network. Hopefully that metaphor helped a little bit. I'm sure that this will not be the last video that I'm asked to make about this topic. Uh, just let's keep it civil, guys. It's not that big of a deal.